Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Hungarian ebook before it's gone. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Hungarian. Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to the 800 core Hungarian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Hungarian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at hungarianpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Hungarian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Tud. Can. Tud. Tud. Can. Tud vezetni, de nem nagyon jól. He can drive, but not very well. Tud vezetni, de nem nagyon jól. Nulla. Zero. Nulla. Nulla. Zero. Ma? Körülbelül nulla fok van. It's about zero degrees today. Ma körülbelül nulla fok van. Egy. One. Egy. Egy. One. Egyes számú. Number one. Egyes számú. Kettő. Two. Kettő. Kettő. Two. A kettes szám a kedvenc számom. The number two is my favorite number. A kettes szám a kedvenc számom. Három. Three. Három. Három. Three. Az első csoport a hármas számú busszal érkezett. The first group arrived on bus number three. Az első csoport a hármas számú busszal érkezett. Négy. Four. Négy. Négy. Four. A november egy a négy harminc napos hónap közül. November is one of four months with thirty days. A november egy a négy harminc napos hónap közül. Öt. Five. Öt. Öt. Five. A tengeri csillagnak öt ága van. The starfish has five legs. A tengeri csillagnak öt ága van. Hot. 
six. Hot. Hot. Six. Minden reggel hatkor ébredek. I wake up every morning at six o'clock a.m. Minden reggel hatkor ébredek. Hét. Seven. Hét. Hét. Seven. Minden hét hét napból áll. There are seven days in every week. Minden hét hét napból áll. Nyolc. Eight. Nyolc. Nyolc. Eight. A kislány nyolc éves. The girl is eight years old. A kislány nyolc éves. Kilenc. Nine. Kilenc. Kilenc. Nine. Kilenc minus kettő az hét. Nine minus two is seven. Kilenc minus kettő az hét. Tíz. Ten. Tíz. Tíz. Ten. El tudok számolni egytől tízig kínaiul. I can count from one to ten in Chinese. El tudok számolni egytől tízig kínaiul. Értékesítési szakember. Salesman. Értékesítési szakember. Értékesítési szakember. Salesman. Ő egy értékesítési szakember. He is a salesman. Ő egy értékesítési szakember. Menedzser. Manager. Menedzser. Menedzser. Manager. A menedzser mérges lett. The manager got angry. A menedzser mérges lett. Szakács. Cook. Szakács. Szakács. Cook. Ő szakács egy négy csillagos étteremben. She is a cook at a four-star restaurant. Ő szakács egy négy csillagos étteremben. Mérnök. Engineer. Mérnök. Mér. Nök. Engineer. Egy jó mérnök rendszereket tud tervezni és építeni. A good engineer can design and build systems. Egy jó mérnök rendszereket tud tervezni és építeni. Programozó. Programmer. Programozó. Programozó. Programmer. A programozó egy e-mailt gépel. 
The programmer is typing an email. A programozó egy e-mailt gépel. Nővér. Nurse. Nővér. Nővér. Nurse. A nővér az iskolai rendelőben megvizsgál egy diákot. The nurse at the school infirmary is examining the student. A nővér az iskolai rendelőben megvizsgál egy diákot. Test Body Test Test Body Az élelem üzemanyag a testnek. Food is fuel for the body. Az élelem üzemanyag a testnek. Fej Head Fej Fej Head Viselj sisakot, hogy véd a fejed. Wear a helmet to protect your head. Viselj sisakot, hogy véd a fejed. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at hungarianpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Viszontlátásra! Can learning a new language help you make money? In this video, you'll learn three ways that learning a language can help increase your income. So, if you know a language other than your native language, does it help you earn more money? Learning a new language provides a wide range of benefits, including personal growth, higher cognitive function, better resistance to age-related deterioration, and the opportunity to meet exciting new people from all over the world. But that's not all. It's possible that learning a foreign language can help you to earn more money throughout your life. Studies have shown that someone making $30,000 annually could boost their salary by at least $600 per year through applying their knowledge of another language. Over the course of a lifetime, that could add up to a significant contribution to your retirement savings or overall earnings. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get free language learning courses and tools that you can use for your studies with the aim of boosting your income. One day, the extra money could possibly help you buy a new Ferrari, vacation home, or save more money for retirement. But first, let's look at a few ways you can make money with a second language. The first method is by exploring bilingual or multilingual job opportunities. With the rise of multinational corporations doing business all around the globe, the need for bilingual or even multilingual employees has never been higher. Therefore, knowing a second language can be extremely valuable, Having a second language as part of your skill set could help you make significantly more money than if you're fluent in just one language. So, in a very real way, learning a language online, even for free, can alter your career and earnings trajectory for the better, and it can help put you on the path towards the lifestyle you want. The second method is by exploring work you can do from home in your second language. It's possible to use your knowledge of a second language to work from home. There are many websites that have hundreds of paying translation jobs at any given time. Although the pay may vary significantly between jobs, and you probably won't actually become rich from such work, translation jobs can boost your salary and improve your lifestyle. And translation jobs aren't the only way to make money online from home. There are actually a wide range of opportunities out there for people to boost their income using their knowledge of a second language. These include copywriting, administrative work, and even multilingual IT jobs. The third method is by working overseas. If you love adventure or want to travel the world, you can put your language knowledge to use by taking advantage of bilingual or multilingual opportunities overseas. Put what you've learned to work in the real world. Combine your second language skills with the other skills you have and offer something special to employers. 
To start, think about a country where you might like to live someday and begin your language studies with the language spoken in that country. With diligent work, you can master a language and secure a position with an overseas company. These are just a few of the ways you can put your knowledge of another language to use and make some extra money with your skills. Over time, this added income can make a huge difference in your life. Our language learning program provides a number of free language learning tools and resources as part of our free lifetime account. You can use these to get started with your language learning and begin working toward boosting your income throughout your life. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete, can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. 
Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Being in planes, trains, and buses can be an uncomfortable experience for many people. Often there are small, cramped seats, not many things to do, and sometimes the experience is even scary. Despite this, you often see people working in these environments. How do they do it? In this video, you'll learn three tips to help you be able to study anywhere. The first one is adjust to your environment. Most of us would probably agree that a plane or a bus is not the best place to study. These environments are usually dark and cramped and you may have a crying baby next to you. But the point is, there's never a perfect time or place to learn. The reality is that a lot of us use transportation every day. We face environments that are typically considered unsuitable for study. Trains get crowded. You can't do much in your car. Even in your own home, you'll get distracted by the TV or Facebook or something. And some days you'll be sick. You'll be tired. You'll have dinner plans. Once you accept that there's rarely such a thing as the perfect time to study, you can start thinking about how to make the best of the environment you have at that time. For example, if you ride a train, you might stand up for a long time. It might be difficult to focus on a book. In a case like this, you can use the Innovative Language 101 app to study, listen to the audio lessons, or do the word of the day by email. There are ways that you can learn in just about any situation. The point is, you need to adjust your study method to your environment. So take a look at your day and see where your time goes. Are there any gaps in between your activities where you feel like you can't study? And is there any way you can adjust? Two, take advantage of your limited time. We've surveyed tons of learners over the years, and every year we find that the number one reason most people don't learn a language is they say they have no time. But there's a chance you may have some spare time to study. You might just not recognize it yet. Let's say you commute for 30 minutes every day. You can ask yourself, how do I put these next 30 minutes to use? Or if you finish work at 7 p.m. and spend an hour doing nothing, you can think about what you might do in that hour that will help you work towards your goals. You don't have to use all 30 minutes of your commute or the full hour of your free time, but you can definitely fit in a short lesson or take other steps towards your goals. Three, have an on and off mindset. When you work, it can be really helpful to have a kind of on-off switch for when it's time to work and time to rest. You can apply the same idea to your language studies. When it's time to study, you can focus solely on that. You don't spend time thinking about doing it, you just do it. It doesn't matter where you are or what kind of studying you're doing, as long as it gets done. And when you're done with a lesson, reward yourself. It can be as simple as telling yourself, great job. When you're finished with the time you promised yourself for studies, feel free to focus on the next thing. 
In this video, we covered a few tips to help you study no matter where you are or how much time you have. It's all about having the right mindset. And for even more ways to study, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Not enough time in the day. This is one of the biggest reasons people struggle with learning a language. Sure, you want to speak the language fluently, but you're already busy with work, school, relationships, TV shows, and goals that you just can't give up on. But the truth is, if you're going out and commuting, then you actually do have a bit of time, which is actually enough to learn a language if you're learning the right way. Five easy ways to learn while on a walk or on your commute. So in this guide, you'll discover how you can learn a language and make meaningful progress on your walks or commutes, and how to apply these tips to our learning system. But you can also apply them to your other resources. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So how can you learn on a commute or a 10-minute walk? Number one. Download our free app, Innovative Language Learning. If you're already thinking that getting an app is obvious, you're right. But many apps out there require you to be actively tapping and using your device, which may not be good if your commute involves driving. With Innovative Language Learning, you can just press play on a lesson and listen to practical conversations in your target language, all hands-free. You hear real speakers, real voices. And then our teachers explain all the words and grammar rules from the conversation while you're walking or even driving. Each lesson is just a few minutes long, meaning you can learn quite a bit on a 10-minute commute. Number two, boost your vocabulary with the word of the day. This is another thing you can do on the go. Our free Word of the Day email lessons are sent daily, and all you have to do is open up your phone, check the email, and learn the word. And that only takes a minute, or less. Many of our existing learners like this study tool, because even if they're too busy to do anything else, keeping up with the Word of the Day still keeps them on track with the language. Everyone that signs up to our learning system gets the free Word of the Day automatically. So if you want the study tool, just click the link in the description. Number three, swipe through our vocabulary and phrase images. You know how you open up your Photos app and swipe through to look at your pictures? Well, you can do just that and learn words and phrases at the same time with our infographics. Just download our free infographics. These contain several words per image, so you're not learning just one word at a time. And then swipe through while you're on a walk or on a commute. Of course, you can do this with other resources too, like our PDF cheat sheets. Number four, listen to words and phrases on repeat with our audio slideshow. Just visit our free vocabulary lists inside the menu. Pick a list and select play slideshow. You can set this slideshow on a loop and play the words and phrases over and over while you're out on the go. And number five, learn with your teacher on the go. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also use our app to interact with your teacher, ask questions, make recordings of yourself speaking, and get corrections. Just tap on My Teacher on the bottom menu. Many of our learners will spend a few minutes sending questions about grammar they've learned in the lessons, and others send quick write-ups about their day for corrections. So go ahead and try any one of these tips and learn a bit of the language while you're out on the go. And if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Hungarian. Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to the 800 Core Hungarian Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Hungarian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So, after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at hungarianpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Hungarian.
Okay, let's get started. First is keys, hand, keys, keys, hand. A gyerek felemeli a kezét. The child is raising his hand. A gyerek felemeli kezét. Kar. Arm. Kar. Kar. Arm. Izmos kar. Muscular arm. Izmos kar. Lápfej. Foot. Lápfej. Lábfej. Foot. Egy lábfejen öt új van. A foot has five toes. Egy lábfejen öt új van. Láb. Leg. Láb. Láb. Leg. Megint fáj a lábam. My leg hurts again. Megint fáj a lábam. Új. Finger. Új. Új. Finger. Vérzik az ujjam. My fingers bleeding. Vérzik az ujjam. Hát. Back. Hát. Hát. Back. A sűn hátát éles tüskék borítják. A hedgehog's back is covered in sharp spines. A sűn hátát éles tüskék borítják. Gyomor. Stomach. Gyomor. Gyomor. Stomach. Fáj a gyomrom. I have a stomach ache. Fáj a gyomrom. Melkas. Chest. Melkas. Melkas. Chest. Melkasi röntgen. X-ray of a chest. Melkasi röntgen. Január. January. Január. Január. January. Itt januárban nagyon hideg van. It's very cold here in January. Itt januárban nagyon hideg van. Február. February. Február. Február. February. A szökő nap február 29-e. 
Leap year day is February 29th. Asukö nap, február, huszon kilencedike. Március. March. Március. Március. March. Most április van, így a múlt hónap március volt. It is now April, so last month was March. Most április van, így múlt hónap március volt. Április. April. Április. Április. April. Az áprilisi esők hozzák a májusi virágokat. April showers bring May flowers. Az áprilisi esők hozzák a májusi virágokat. Május. May. Május. Május. May. Május 31-e a füstmentes világnap. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. Május 31-e a füstmentes világnap. Június. June. Június. Június. June. Júniusban összeházasodunk. We are getting married in June. Júniusban Összeházasodunk. Július. July. Július. Július. July. Júliust. Július Cézáról nevezték el, aki júliusban született. July is named for Julius Caesar, who was born in July. Júliust, Július Cézáról nevezték el, aki Júliusban született. Augustus. August. Augustus. Augustus. August. Az iskola zárva van augusztusban. The school is closed in August. Az iskola zárva van augusztusban. Szeptember. September. Szeptember. Szeptember. September. Ma szeptember 10-e szombat van. Today is Saturday, September 10th. Ma szeptember 10-e szombat van. Október. 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 Október 13-án. On October 13th. Október 13-án. November. 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 A november egy a négy harminc napos hónapok közül. 
November is one of four months with 30 days. A november egy a négy harminc napos hónapok közül. December. 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 Decemberben minden gyerek várja a Mikulást. In December, all children wait for Santa Claus. Decemberben minden gyerek várja a Mikulást. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at hungarianpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Viszontlátásra! Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Hungarian ebook before it's gone.